Okay. Today is Super Bowl Sunday. And no, I'm not watching it, and I'm not rooting for anybody. Why would a geek be interested in Super Bowl? Seriously. And today, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7 on any computer without losing your data. You just want to make sure that your computer has the right specifications to do this. All you need is a DVD and a blank DVD and a computer. Uh, first of all, you need to install ImageBurn, which is www.imgburn.com, and that way you'll be able to write an image file to a disk. And afterwards, once you've downloaded that, you'll have to go to the Windows 7 website and download Windows 7. And then, once you've downloaded Windows 7, you just use Image Burn and click write image file to disk and then use your Windows 7 ISO file to write it to DVD. I already got mine written to the DVD so uh, we don't have to go through that. It takes a long time to do that. Now while Windows 7 is downloading, this is probably what you want to do. To create a new partition on the hard drive which will let you keep Windows Vista in all your files and put Windows 7 on the same computer. You have to have uh, 17 gigabytes of hard drive space. The minimum requirement for Windows 7 is uh, 16 gigabytes. So if you don't have that much free, just don't bother. Okay, go to the control panel. Double click administrative tools. Uh, Computer management. Then in the com whoops. Okay. And then in the computer management thing, go down to disk management on the left hand side. Um, then click on the hard drive that you want to use for the new partition. Right click on it and click on shrink volume. Then I just typed in 17,000 because that's pretty close to what you need. It's a little more, but whatever. Then click shrink. And after a while, after it loads, after it creates a new partition, down in disk zero is what it will normally say. It'll tell you empty space. Right now it says Windows 7 because I've already formatted it and I've said what I wanted to name it and right click on that and click format and volume label type in whatever you want to put uh, file system whatever allocation unit size default perform whatever blah, 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 and just go through that uh, then once you're done all of that you create a new partition on the hard drive so you can install Windows 7 on that new partition. Restart your computer. And make sure that your Windows 7 DVD is in. If it's done, you know, completing. Restart.
on this particular computer, to choose where to boot from, you have to press F12 on the uh, BIOS or Vision screen. It says internal HDD, CD, DVD, CD, RW drive, onboard, and IC. And we're going to do D the DVD drives. So hit enter when you got to that choice. Let it load. Press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Press anything. It'll say Windows is loading files. This might take a while. There it goes. Starting Windows. There's the big shiny Microsoft flag. Now, once you've completed all the Windows 7 setups, it'll finally boot into Windows 7, and this will be the final result. Uh, there's Internet Explorer 8. Um, let's open Windows Media Player. Here is Windows Media Player. I just minimize that. Um, there's this also a thing, new thing called the snipping tool. It did they include that in Windows, Windows Vista? I'm not sure. Lets you cut out images of your desktop and. And whenever you go over the Windows logo down there on the taskbar, it glows. And everything fades and stuff. Open up another Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is actually really fast in Windows Vista. I was surprised. Uh, and here's... Close that. Uh... Let's go to Google. Okay. Here's that drag and drop thing we've all heard about about Windows 7. Go do that. Uh, do that. There. Now you can see two windows side by side. And to get rid of them, drag and drop. Drag and drop absolutely love that and to maximize something just drag to the top and it will not maximize until you let go of the mouse and it shows you exactly where it's going see those little bars that come out all over the place it's actually very convenient let's say you have a whole bunch of windows open and you know you just want to get rid of them minimize them all and you just want to see that one shake it it all minimizes. To get it back, shake it again. All comes back. I gotta say, I love Windows 7. It's very convenient, very useful. You know, get it. The the beta will only be up for a few more days. If you don't get it now, you're gonna miss your chance. And just don't miss your chance. Alright guys, that was Techno Guy 3 here. And thanks for watching my video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Uh and I'll just have to three you later.